verse 1 to the end. And we're going to read it together. If it is possible, just one more time. Can you stand up on your feet? The men and women of old, they respect the word of God by standing to read it in those days. Let's go. One, two, go. The Lord said, unto my Lord. Sit down at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Keep going. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. Praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart. In the assembly of the upright will I praise him. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. And take your seat in the presence of the Lord. The subject is the day of his power. The day of his power. The day of God's power. If you hear anything that makes any sense to you, the only way you will confirm it is to make your amen roar like thunder. I said you will make your amen roar like thunder. Let all the people in Jaws, in Achara, lay out in Lafia, in London, in everywhere, Lagos, let them make their amen roar like thunder. Roar like thunder. Listen, we have two objectives tonight. Number one, we shall understand what occasions God's day of power. When is it the day of God's power? What day and what is the thing that makes God's power to go to work? Number two, we shall understand the way to power. By way of introduction, it's important to know that God is a God of might and power. We serve the God of might and power. He is the almighty but he does not deploy his might carelessly. He doesn't. He deploys his power. He deploys his might when the occasion demands. The same way that a military man may carry the rifle, but he doesn't deploy it anyhow. He has his service pistol. He doesn't shoot it anyhow. It is when the occasion demands. 
The question is, what kind of occasion demands the release of God's power? What occasions the day of God's power? I look at about eight occasions. Number one, when the purpose of God is at stake. When his purpose is at stake. When God has proposed and somebody wants to question the purpose. I believe it was in Isaiah chapter 14 and in verse 27 and 28. Where he said, for the Lord of hosts has purposed. And who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out. And who shall turn it back? The Lord has purposed. God deploys his power. When his purpose must be enforced. When what he has purposed must be made to happen. I prophesy to someone here today the purpose of God for our families for your life the purpose of God for Nigeria I declare in this season the power of God shall force it to happen that amen can be louder than that if you believe the purpose of God is about to be enforced in your life by his power you will shout the loud most amen you will shout amen that is stronger than what you are shouting now number two when does god Deploy his power. Number two, when his word and promise must be fulfilled. When his word, when God's word and God's promise must be fulfilled. Because God is not a man that should lie. He is not the son of man that should repent. If he has said it, it must happen. He said heaven and earth may pass away, but not one comma or one dot on the eye shall fail. There are many of us sitting on promises that have not come to pass. Sitting on word, light and word that is, has not yet happened. I am anointed to announce tonight every word of God you are believing God for to fulfill in your life. In this season, it shall come to pass by force. If the word of God said to you, you are the head and not the tail, Above only and never beneath. He said, bring all your tithes into the storehouse and prove me if I will not open the windows of heaven. And you have tithed and yet things are tight. There are forces that must be dealt with. You shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless. You are serving with all your life, yet you can't see the blessing. That devil is a bastard. I announce today in the name that is above every name. Every word of God that is appearing to fail in your life. Today is the expiry date of that seeming failure. Very soon people will begin to read you like they read Bible. Because your life shall become the mobile fulfillment of God's word. I am not sure it's everybody God is talking to here tonight. 
before the next four weeks, that particular scripture you are standing on, you are trusting God for, shall come into fulfillment. That particular scripture you are believing God for concerning, I said four weeks. That particular scripture you are believing God for concerning your children, concerning your husband, concerning the church, concerning your work, concerning your health and your healing. That particular scripture you are standing on concerning the fruit of your womb. That particular word of God you are standing on. Are you ready to say the loudest amen? amen? That particular scripture shall come to pass. Amen. It shall come to pass. The devil notwithstanding, the witch notwithstanding, the wizard notwithstanding, it shall come to pass. Take your seat. When does God deploy his power? When? What occasions? What occasions the release of God's power? Number three, when his covenant must be fulfilled. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. Is it? There is no one like you. Chineke kigwe. Odiro nye di kagi. Malite no gugu. Is it? Oh yes. Conjelebaway. On your jagger name for ye, and no gipa kumba. I know you over. I I thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. For who knows the way that water entered inside coconut? <laughs> hey! I know you, Jehovah. I know. Abu Onye di kagi, chuku di ebobe. Onye di kagi, Onye ne nyendo. Almighty God, there is nobody like you. Eche to bi esike Onye di kagi Unchangeable God Unchangeable God Unchangeable God Unchangeable God I am serving the unchangeable God Unchangeable God 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 Unchangeable God I am serving the unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable, unchangeable. Ay 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 ay. He's the unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Serving the unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Tell him. We are serving the 
unchangeable God. Unchangeable, unchangeable, unchangeable. Tomorrow, service having the unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. One more. I am serving the unchangeable God. One more. I am serving the unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Take your seat. You know what made God to bury Pharaoh was covenant that was at stake. God remembered his covenant with Abraham. He paid him. Covenant means if you do this, I will do this. You have done this. And the devil is preventing you from seeing what I say I will do. I bury that devil. Hey! If you shall hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, to do all that he commanded you to do, then all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. That the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations. You have hearkened to the commandments of the Lord your God. You have observed everything he said you should do. And yet the devil said you should remain low, not high. They never burned that devil. Listen to me here today. Once you touch covenant, you touch the heart of God. Ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham be set free, even if it is Sabbath. I'm talking covenant, you're talking Sabbath. I set Sabbath aside. The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. People use phone, phone don't use people. I prophesy to someone here today. Every covenant that is at stake in your life, you have done your own part, and the devil says you shouldn't see the part that God has promised. That devil is a liar. I see covenant coming to pass in your life. There are many people here. God has designed you for the billions range. Every devil who said you should not step there is a bastard devil. Step. 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 Take it. Covenant. Destiny changer. You are my destiny changer. Come and change my destiny. My destiny today. Come and change. My destiny. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is. You are the destiny changing God. Your name. Your name, your name, your name, your name is. You are the destiny. 
Your name. Your name, your name, your name is Yah. Your name, your name is Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yah. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat one minute. When does God deploy his power? Number four. When his enemies and the enemies of his people must be subdued. He moves with power. When his enemies and the enemies of his people must be subdued. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of your enemies. At the end, he said, you will scatter them. You will scatter the kings. God uses power to make his enemy your footmat. He uses power to cause us to rule in the midst of our enemies. They don't like you, yet you are in charge of them. Hey! They don't like you, yet you are their commander. They hate you. But they can't harm you. They hate you terribly. But they can't hurt you. And if they plan too much for you, they die. I am here with a very dangerous apostolic and prophetic judgmental mantle. It's a, it's, it's a fire mantle. And I deploy and I decree today every enemy of your soul enemy of your family enemy of your of, of, of the church enemy of this church enemy of the nation this season they shall experience the judgment of god's power hear me listen this month as it's ending and the month we are entering will be very risky for the devil and his agents. There are many agents of the devil around your life that will not cross the next month. If you believe what I'm about to say, your amen shall be the loudest. Since they have vowed that they will not let you rest, now they shall be laid to rest. In the real one, many, many years ago, I made a prophetic declaration that those who won't let you rest, I can't forget the word I used, they will be arranged out of sight. Remember that. They will be arranged out of sight. Something bigger than your matter will confront them to make them leave you alone. One man was going to the native doctor against the child of God, a member of our church, to go and perfect his witchcraft and herbalistic technique. Because Trilla ran into him, broke his two legs on his way to native doctor. They arranged him to Kanu Orthopedic Hospital out of sight. If dog is pursuing you and lion start pursuing the dog, the 
dog cannot remember you. <laughs> the dog will run and pass you. You know when lion enter goat market? It's both the seller and the goat that is running. <laughs> Are you hearing me here? Yeah? I repeat that prophecy tonight. Anyone on your case, this month of May, Jehovah will arrange them out of sight. They will, they will be connected with a mega project. Project affliction. A mega project will so confront them until they will remember that you exist. And by May, worship and wonders that miracle night, which is the May convention night this year, you will testify that since they decided that they have agreed that you should not rest, they have been finally laid to rest. Asahel followed Ab Abna, pursued Abna. Abna, turn it, turn, turn it. He said, it's your brother's respect, oh. I don't know how I will face Joah. Look for your mate and fight. Look for your age mate. Shoe has size. Life is in faces. Men are in sizes. Even in the military, there are ranks. Even among generals, there are ranks. Two people are major general. But this one said, good morning, sir. Both of them are major generals. This major general was major general four years before this one became. So it's still morning, sir. This one has left Nigerian Defense Academy before this one entered. But they are still on the same rank. Say, money. Say, it still has levels. Abner said, Leave me alone. He said, I won't leave you. He just hit the man with the back of his spear. He didn't hit him twice. He laid down on the ground in his pool of blood on the road. Everybody who came past by the other side. See how many people died? Abner and Asahel and 17 people. They couldn't count him with the rest. Just wasted his life because he pursued who he was not meant to pursue. You remember that song? Danger day, danger day. <laughs> I, I announced to someone here today everyone who has decided to make you a project God will give them a mega project a mega project of affliction a mega project of destruction a mega project of calamity somebody shout power that is why we are here tonight God is going to give you an evidence for some people even before the next one week. Receive this prophecy with a 60 second tongue. In. 
Lete pere teke ziga, lete pere teke ziga, le pere teke seke bida. Shaka daga laga daga laga daga laga daga laga daga daga laga daga. Raga daga laga daga laga daga daga laga daga laga. Zoro to sete pere diga gala la hazaria. Le pere te sete tika gala la hazaria. Le pere te sete te sote gala la. Le te sete diga gala la. Le pere te sete gala la. Le shota la bara 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 bara. Rata ta do la gala la. Zetorete se predi gaga la hazi, zetorete kiza gaga, masalo mata. Le perete spida gaga la hosa, le perete setelela, le perete setelela, le perete seta liga gaga, le perata seta kaka, zaparata sa perata sada. Yes lo, masata lo, le peredis, le peredis, le peredis, le peredis. Lepe Redis, Lepe Redis, Iko Paranasa, Iko Paranasa, Ika Pirogobalala. In Jesus' precious name, we will come to it shortly. There are people who will not know God until God judges somebody. You see, when thy judgments are in the earth, that is when the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 9. That is when some people will know God and go to church because person died. Give the Lord a big clap as you take your seat. When does God deploy his power? Number four, number five now. When affliction must be relieved and health restored. When affliction must be relieved and health restored. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good to the oppressor of the devil. For God was with him. Before I came here, I knew that God was going to heal cancers and asthma. I'm, I'm mentioning some now. I may not have mentioned them before now, but because we don't have so much time now. And ulcer and epilepsy. And paralysis with so many of them and hepatitis and HIV and sickle cell anemia and organ failures like liver failures like kidney failures kidney failure like heart failure allergies allergies some things you can't eat some climate you couldn't find yourself in Pains of all sorts. Trigeminal neuralgia. Cursed to its roots. In the name of Jesus. And every other form of pain. Witchcraft sicknesses. Afflictions that ultrasound cannot trace. X-ray cannot X-ray. CT scan is a small boy. MRI couldn't find anything. Because its root is witchcraft. Eye afflictions. Ear afflictions, arrows of chest afflictions and death, body odor, mouth odor that was imparted not necessarily by poor hygiene but a satanic implant in the body. Diversities of these afflictions, when they must be forced out, God releases His power. If you came here today. There is something in your body that is a trouble. There are some you are not even aware. I announce today that affliction is over now. The amen can be better. Diabetes, hypertension is dying now. As I mentioned that, the Lord is breaking the cycle of inherited diseases. It happened to your father, happened to your mother. It's running in your family. They, run, they have short-sightedness. They have blood sugar problem and hypertension. Prostate disease. Today, it dies to its roots. That amen can be louder than that. God releases his power to check out affliction. When does God release power? Number six. Are we still together? When oppression, that is captivity, must be terminated. 
he deploys power to terminate oppression to terminate captivity acts chapter 10 again verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him maybe you are here today the devil kept you in a cage kept you in a prison lesbianism masturbation drunkenness marijuana a cage of barrenness indebtedness the cage of confusion inability to get married by the release of power tonight that cage is broken Can your amen be louder than the decree? That cage is broken. That cage is broken. When does God release his power? What, is, what occasions God's power? Number seven. When sorrow and weeping must be arrested. God said to Moses, I have seen the affliction of my people. I have seen their tears. I have seen their sorrow. Exodus chapter 3, if you read from verse 7, 8, 9, you will see God talking in, the, in those terms. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt. I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, and I know their sorrow. For that purpose, I have come down with my power through you to deliver them. Whatever has become a cycle of sorrow in your life. Somebody told me a very terrible story the other day. I couldn't believe it. But I had to believe because I'm a believer. His father died 31st of January. Mother died 31st of January of another year. Um, regular intervals. Um, another sibling died. 31st of January. You see, another one has just died the same date. Devil is a, is a wicked devil. It's a cycle, a cycle. Regular, regular interval, the same date, the same month. The reason for tonight, you know, I mentioned it at the beginning of the message. The, at the beginning of the ministration, the reason for tonight is every evil cycle of frustration, every cycle of calamity, cycle of tears, cycle of sorrow around your life, my life, our families, the body of Christ, the church, every such cycle, whatever sustains the cycle is broken. Any altar that is fueling that cycle is set on fire. If you're saying amen, say it like a believer. Say, so in the name of Jesus, I receive freedom from every evil cycle of calamity. In the name of Jesus, the cycle is broken. Say it louder. That cycle is broken. That calamity is terminated. It is over forever in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord the praise as you take your seat. Finally, God releases his power when destiny must be fulfilled. When people, people are to step into their God-ordained plan and destiny. Power is released if you are to access your Canaan land. God said to Moses, my aim is to take my people into the land that flowed with milk and honey. I want to take them to that land. There are many of us today. Thank God for where you are. But there is somewhere better in the front. 
today you shall step there if you are saying amen say a louder believers amen I will say it very quiet so that only those who have ears will hear it. That place God has for you that the ancestral devils of your family have been fighting. That place there that the witches say over their dead body. Is it only you? Is it only your family? Who do you think you are? Where do you think you are going? You have too much gods. You look too arrogant. That place that they say you will never go. After tonight, you have stepped in. Hey! Listen, that place that this ministry should step into, that my life your life high potential high enviable destiny some of us you are wondering why the devil is fighting you too much the devil knows what you, even you don't know the devil is aware of you know he was with God before. He has some, a lot of perception and sensitivity. He can smell a future you cannot even smell. Which is understand your future even more than you. But what they have seen. That they say you must not see. After tonight you have seen it. And you shall testify because God need you to step there because the destiny of your family is on your neck the destiny of your community is on your shoulder the destiny of many lives is on your la on your neck somebody shout I am stepping in there say it louder I have stepped in there say no devil can stop me Give the Lord a 60 second shout of victory. Keep on, keep on. Keep on, keep on. I will tell you when you are true, just keep on. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Laga, yeah, 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 I just heard something. They killed your father before time, and your brother before time, and your loved one before time. You know what God is about to do? The way He made Abraham to fulfill the destiny of his father plus his own. You know Abraham's father? was the one that was going to Canaan first and stopped on the road and died. The way, in that same way, the reason they killed the other people and said they shouldn't be, what they were meant to be will be added to what you are meant to become. The only loser shall be the devil. <laughs>